bathroom is broken. She also has allergies, bless her. And my mum went back yesterday. Are you tired already? Anyway. <laughs> I want her to come back to life. <laughs> Say hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Hey, your foot. Hey, Daddy, your foot. Here, we can do your foot. Um, I also have some new hair, guys. We'll, we'll talk about this later, and I'll give you guys all of the details. Good morning morning guys hey <laughs> welcome to the vlog um today is a bit of a busy morning malika has swim classes oh. and my car is broken she also has allergies bless her so her eyes look a bit puffy but yeah my car is broken so we have to get an uber which i feel like just adds an added element of like stress especially with the baby and my mum went back yesterday see you grandma To the UK so we're trying to adjust to like <laughs> doing all the things without grandma Winston has a podcast interview today as well so yeah we're just kind of ripping and running I'm not going to take you guys along to Malika swim classes um just because <coughs> we want to get it done and don't want to film any other kids or teachers but yeah that's it really we'll probably catch up when we get back we need to leave in like in like 10 minutes i'll probably call the uber we've got everything together don't we we've got our bag packed bag packed and we got our cozy on <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right guys so i will catch up with you guys afterwards to see how it goes this is only her second session the first session was like more of an assessment and she did good for most of it and then got a little bit tired but i think she'll be used to it now because she's used to the environment are you tired already anyway. <laughs> we'll see you like her is currently learning the national anthem of the united states Hey guys, um, we just came back from swimming. It was good. I didn't even have, I didn't have a chance to do anything. Like I'm not a morning, I'm not a morning person yet. Oh my God. Um, but I believe I can be with some preparation and going to sleep on time. So anyway, I literally brushed my teeth, washed my face. So I'm gonna have a coffee, make myself some food. And then when, I also need to just like, clean like reset we're kind of trying to recalibrate since since mum's gone if you're watching this i know she is we miss you okay we miss you but yeah this week is probably just going to be kind of like recalibrating i need to change malika's sheets do a bit of a tidy of her room i've got a ton of laundry that needs doing yeah i think we're gonna do some planning together too me and winston recently did our like monthly and quarterly planning so we're gonna talk through a bit about how we get that done but yeah i need a coffee and i need food so yeah let's do that malika's playing she got a, a little play kitchen from grandma so that's what she's playing with <laughs> yeah um i also have some new hair guys we'll we'll talk about this later and i'll give you guys all of the details but yeah I, I don't know i just i need to get myself together hey babe do you want to say hello to the vlog tell them how your morning was hi people so nice to see you all. he acts like this oh. go come this way hey y'all he acts like this isn't our channel hello oh, hey people we are the clever how do y'all do he's a bit camera shy i am very camera shy although i just finished recording a podcast yeah how was it <laughs> It was really good. It was really good. I think it's going to be out in about a week's time. Mm -hmm. So maybe by the time this video is out, it should be out. Yes. I will probably put the link in the description. It's with a guy that I've spoken to before. His name is Stoyan. S-T-O-Y-A-N. Um, really good guy based in Bulgaria. Talks about productivity. Nice. So we're discussing mindset, ownership, crushing your big goals things that we're passionate about. He's written a couple of books. And yeah, just really free-flowing. It's more of a conversational coffee, 
coffee type you want vibe. Some more food? So so yeah, check it out. Link in the description. Okay, I'm coming, baby. And we're gonna go give the baby more food because that's what she's asking for. Coming, Angel. You want some toast? Say, I want everything. And I was really wanting breakfast, like I'm such a breakfast girly, so even though it's a ridiculous time, I'm currently making breakfast. I'm just making beans, some eggs, some sausage. Last time, a couple of people asked why I was washing my beans. So the beans I was using were pinto, be pinto beans, and they just, they're not baked beans, so I wasn't washing any sauce. I just like to wash them before and then I boil them a little bit. We're showing Malika some old school classic tunes. What song are you playing for her now? I can't even... The classics because she like I feel like a lot of kids like like music but they like her really 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 likes music so you have to show her like you know the OG like powerhouse female vocalist so <laughs> Tina Turner's crazy so yeah that's that's what we're doing I don't even know is this gonna be a weekly vlog daily vlog couple days vlog I don't know but we're just kind of like getting together and refinding our rhythm since Boya left. The food is cooking. I'm just gonna do a bit of laundry. I did take a little bit of a break from cloth diapering because of everything that was going on with Malaika. If you are part of our podcast community then you'll know like you know all of the details and we just dropped another we just dropped an episode um so make sure you go and check it out yeah it was really just like a chatty raw honest life update with all the things that have been going on she really took advantage of us during like our whole lease and i think this yeah. was the final straw where we were like no this lady must have realized that we're new to the country and new to georgia right and she just thought you know if i threaten these people with a huge invoice but i have a law degree like i understand what legal terms mean so we kind of pushed back and said hey if you want to take this thing to the legal system then let's do it it would cost her more to take it through court and also she's just in the wrong the whole reason that we had to move out was because she said she was selling we go on Bright Move and like, you know, whatever, like Zillow. all of Zillow, like all of the places they listed. Tell me why the place is listed for rent. <laughs> yeah. She just increased the rent <laughs> and isn't actually selling. So I don't know if she lied. But anyway, I'm gonna put a load of laundry in. We're black back to cloth diapering. I am switching to the branch basics, laundry detergent, and basically like for my whole home, I did a lot of research and I want something that's like completely non-toxic. But for now, we're just gonna use what we have, which is the Tide Free and Simple Pods. And how I do her cloth diapers is, um, I basically, it's super simple. If they are soiled, I usually use a liner and that takes care of things. If it doesn't, then I'll just kind of give him a quick hand rinse. But um, all of these are just kind of wet. So yeah, obviously you wanna take out the liners from them and just have the covers on. So I just put them all in there. She also has her swim diaper. You can also use cloth diapers, just the liners as, um, not the liners, just the covers as swim diapers too. So they double up, which is amazing. So I keep them in this, like a, a wet bag, which kind of contains like the smell and everything until they're ready to be washed. But I do try and wash them like within a day or two just to kind of stop them from smelling and also I don't have a whole bunch so yeah so I just stick the diapers in there I put the wet bag too in the wash I take two laundry pods I 
take a little bit of white vinegar and I put it in the detergent section and a little bit there that kind of just helps with the odor since um, I don't use any detergents that have fragrances and then obviously just close that up and then my washing machine has a setting that allows you to pick the soil level so for the first wash I basically I wash cloth diapers in two washes so I'll, I wash them once and then the second time I wash them you can actually add other clothes because it's gotten rid of like all of the all of the pee basically so um the setting that I use is I use I'll use soil level soil level heavy and then temperature I wash it on cold because if you wash it on hot it actually kind of like cements the stains so just washing it on cold means like the any stains or anything don't set so yeah i just put that on a wash and then i'll do a second round on hot on like normal settings and i throw in like other clothes in there too since it's since it's clean so yeah that's it i just start and then give that a wash and we shall continue making our breakfast Okay, so Malaika's gone down for her nap. She takes one nap a day and usually it's anywhere from like, her ideal nap is an hour and a half, but honestly it can be anywhere from like 45 minutes to like two hours. So I'm just gonna set a quick timer for like 15 minutes. I'm just gonna get some bits done, finish off the laundry, do a quick pickup of the house. This is my best advice for trying to like maintain a house, especially if you've got young kids around and mess gets created a lot. It's just like clean, like in little bursts. So usually I'll do like a 20 minute timer when my life goes down for her nap. 20 minute timer to clean or to like shut down the house at the end of the day as well. So I'm gonna put the rest of the washing in. The, the diapers did like their first round, so I'll just, add more clothes and put them on a proper wash pick up i'm gonna season some chicken for tonight and then i'm gonna have some self-care time like just yeah get myself all fresh and nice and i know it's like the middle of the day so there's a part of me that's like oh do i really want to bother like getting nice but like i feel like it just does something like for your mental health to just you know take your time and you know you know take time to look after yourself basically so anyway let's put the laundry in and just do a quick pick up <laughs>
my flower. I got this from Trader Joe's. And usually I, I'd like to say I've got a bit of a green thumb. Like I'm pretty good at looking after plants. But I just don't know what she needs. Like I, yeah, I feel like I overwatered it. And also like it's got like a drain hole, which was closed. So I was like, okay, she's overwatered. Need to dry her out a bit. So we kind of left her outside to get some sun. But now, I don't know, I feel like maybe she's dehydrated. I'm gonna, I really, I want her to come back to life. Baby, come back. Yeah, I don't know, I feel like she's got life in her. And you guys know I'm planning to start my vegetable garden soon too. So, but we have made progress. Let me show you guys. So you can see my little raised veg garden right there. Right now, it, all it has is like leaves. I feel like this is like a pre-test before I really plant. Um, we are gonna do that this week too, is get some soil for my garden bed, start planting some plants, I know which I'm so excited for. We need to get like a couple more supplies and things like that, but first things first, I think I'm gonna water her, put her back on the windowsill and hope she comes back to life. But if you have any recommendations in the comments, please let me know what you think she needs. I think water now, um, but yeah, she, yeah. I don't know man, but poor, poor girl. So, <laughs> finally had a shower got myself ready and it honestly really helped like i feel really really good again i think i've come to terms with the fact that the stage of my life that i'm in it's not my top priority all the time to look like a million dollars some things have to give or take but i do think it's important to kind of like make time for yourself and just kind of having a shower taking a little bit of extra time to do my hair and everything just does kind of make you feel good. So this is your sign once in a while, just make a little bit of effort. And also I said I'd tell you guys about my hair. This hair is from Irresistible Me. This video is not sponsored, but I really, 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 really like this hair. And they did give me a code. Um, so if you go to irresistibleme.com and then you can use the code, I think it's I am underscore the Clements. I'll also put it up on the screen and in the description box, you can get 10% off. You guys know that I, I love braids. I'm mainly a braid girl but I feel like having a wig that you really like to kind of throw into the rotation is really nice if you want to give your hair a break. I also do my own braids and it just takes a lot of time so having a unit that's just really good quality and kind of easy to put on is a great idea um, and kind of just keeps your hair protected underneath. I did install this myself, I'm not a wig girly so you know if I can install it you can also install it with pretty much like minimal work. Like I did bleach my knots, but if you want to, you can just kind of put like some powder, uh, like some foundation underneath the knots, curled it myself. Basically it was really, really simple to install. Um, and I think it looks good. Like the quality of the hair is really nice. Um, it holds a curl really well. Um, I curled mine like a few days ago and then, yeah, I'm not, I was showering and everything with it. So the curls have kind of dropped a bit, but I, I kind of like this free flowing kind of like hair situation that we've got going on so just wanted to give you guys the details for that it's irresistible me i have had such bad luck with ordering wigs online either the delivery time um is just crazy or the customer service is really poor after i've ordered if i need help but with irresistible me i've had a really positive experience their shipping was super 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 fast their team is so responsive and their customer service is amazing so if you are on the market for a wig, this is one that I can vouch for and I do have a discount code. But yeah, Malika is awake from her nap now, so we're gonna put her down for some lunch. I need to film a campaign. It's actually for Instagram and it's with Love Every. I absolutely love, 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 love Every. We've tried a few to a subscription company and Love Every is our favorite. It's Malika's favorite. I feel like I'm just a walking ad right now, but I only tell you guys about products that I really, really enjoy, especially if I'm bringing them up for you know multiple times I'm gonna put malika down to eat um i've already planned what i'm gonna film for um the collaboration on instagram so we're gonna go ahead and film that i already started prepping dinner so when when i just need to kind of put everything in the oven and hopefully we can take a walk too in the evening i feel like a walk is just a really nice way to break up the day a little bit um and just yeah we've already been out of the house but to get out of the house again as a family winston comes on our walks too and it's just it's really nice, it gives you some fresh air. Let's give little mama lunch. Mama's gonna make a coffee, we're gonna film our collab and then hopefully take a walk. But again, I don't know, we'll see where the day takes us. Like sometimes things do not go to plan, so. Yeah? Did you have a good nap? Yeah. Yes, I did. You ready for some lunch? 
sponge? Yeah, it must be more. I need to clean your bread. Get organized. Video. I, I think it went well. I'm just gonna sit down here and edit it while Malika is playing so well. Yeah. Naughty eggs have nowhere to go. Open. How many? can see when it comes to playtime love every is our absolute go-to they just get it right in terms of curating play kits and activities that your child is really interested in but also their developing skills and for her it's just playing so that's so exciting for me that she is enjoying what she's doing but also learning activities and skills that are developmentally appropriate so if you haven't heard of love every definitely go check them out it gives you the opportunity to kind of get involved with your child and play with the activities or if you just need a moment to kind of have a coffee it keeps your child entertained as well um, and allows them to discover on their own so i say that i was just telling them how well you were playing you gonna let me edit while you play no <laughs> while you play so we're just gonna do a quick evening walk around the block get out of the house let's do it so yeah let's go Hey guys, so we just came back from our family walk. It was really nice. Got chased by a dog. Why are you running? Which was a little bit concerning, but other than that, <laughs> we were chased by a dog. Anyway, luckily the dog didn't catch us, so we're all good, all in one piece. Uh, we also met one of our neighbors, so it feels really good beginning to get to know people who live nearby. She was really friendly, so hopefully bump into her again and maybe invite her for tea but uh yeah i think we're getting ready for dinner now and winding down so we'll bring you along with that take your foot take your foot take your foot yeah how about your chin how about your chin how about your belly did you all say we didn't get chased by a dog it was that was a dog running in our general direction it's very specific direction. No, it didn't. We didn't allow it to get to the point it was chasing us. The dog was looking at us and coming towards us, and we turned around at speed. before it could at speed before it could really catch us. Ca no, <laughs> I feel like the chase was like it's right there, like it's neck and neck. It was not really neck and neck like that. <laughs> it so it was not really neck and neck like that. Guys, what's the definition of a chase? Let us know. <laughs> um. I need to quickly tidy your room because it's a hot mess. A hot mess. 
Trying this. to crawl off the couch? Couch? Crawl off the couch? Oh, I'll come sit with you. Couch? 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 A long but lovely day. Malika's about to go to bed. I'm quickly just putting her diapers together and then we're gonna call it a day. Like I said, this might seem like a super busy day and it is, but not every day is like this. I like to front load my weeks. I think I've said that before. So I plan my week using my digital planner and that kind of gives me an awareness of like, what are all of the things that I need to do that week? And then I can kind of batch them. Like if I need to create content, like today obviously like we're vlogging but i also need to create some instagram content i'll kind of try and do that on the same day if i can because i'm already ready and i'm already in the energy of like filming so yeah the rest of the week is going to be quieter but i really like to get important activities done early on so then the rest of the week i know like even if you know things go wrong or whatever i know we're good basically with the diapers i basically put the liners in ahead of time and that just kind of saved me a bit of time when I'm coming to put them on and then this is what it looks like when it's got a liner on oh, sorry the cover on with the liner inside clearly I'm tired so I'm quickly gonna do this put my lacquer down for bed tidy the kitchen for the night um, and then if I have the energy there's a little bit of laptop work that I want to do I'm actually an evening person so I like to kind of do if I need to do like emails or send things like that um i like to do it in the evening just because that's when i'm sharpest and then i know i can kind of take the morning a little bit a little bit easier
Watching this, she says, See you later, Buya. She calls grandma. Buya. All right, time to go to sleep. Time to go. Night, night.